What up, what up? This is Mopar Fresh, aka Fresh Light. I'm into everything Baltimore sports and uh, Mopar related. But anyway, um, turn my head around. I just saw some disturbing stuff about uh, Greg Roman's interview yesterday. It get to the point where it's okay. You can accept media criticism. All right, cool. That's what, you know. It is what it is. But when your own coaching staff, this either he's an asshole or he know what he's doing. It's it's ridiculous. Why did he feel the need to say Lamar is throwing the best football ever and? We can open up the playbook, like, really? Have you been on planet Earth last month? All the negative things you said just now amplify what people have been saying for the last month. Whether you're stupid and you don't know what you're saying or you just got flustered and, and, and talked to the media or what, but that was a... Uh, off-color statement and that was a blatantly stupid statement to say that knowing whether you believe he got flaws in his game or not they all do that's that's good that's neither here or there but to say he's throwing the best football ever with last year statistically that was his best throwing year as <clears throat> far as purely just throwing before he got hurt but then you say, well, he's throwing a bit football. We can open up the playbook. Like, are you saying it because you saying it? Or are you saying it because trying to make him take him down a notch in the media so you pay him less money? Because something's not right. Because John Harbaugh wouldn't make that statement. Whether he believed that or not, he wouldn't make that statement. So you see why Hollywood left. Hollywood left because Greg Romans is an asshole. So if he's saying thing but your star quarterback who's making your system work, because that great Roman system has an aspiration date. Buffalo had an aspiration, two-year aspiration date. Two or three-year aspiration date in San Francisco. He's here. Lamar is the system. Because they put RG3 when Lamar was out. And so that Huntley and Lamar Lazar, Lamar was out. They inserted. Uh, uh, uh. He's not with the team no more. What's the boy name? Miss Orlean when Lamar was out. And the system just don't hit the same. It's just not the same. Not going to win a lot, lot, bunch of ball games with, with them in that system. Now, granted. They was going to run that system before, if whether they had selected Lamar or not in the 2018 draft because they was already trying to get Kaepernick, but Kaepernick's wife shot that all to hell, opening her mouth. They was going to draft and bring him over there. They was going to that system. When they got Graham Roman, they had plans of going to that system eventually. So they was trying to win now with Flacco and they're playing with him in the future. They said, all right, if we can't go and draft one of these uh, 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 dual threat quarterbacks, we'll just, I mean, trade for one, we'll just draft one and mold them into our system. Because Baltimore is a system place. They want to play defense and run the football. And running the football keeps offenses on the bench. So they're not straying away from it because it's an excellent strategy. But you got to have throwing a component in place, you have to get in the shootout. But primarily, and once you get in the league, you run, and there's nothing they could do. So the, the passing and the runner is supposed to run hand in hand. So they, their offense is made to be a downhill offense. It's made for you okay. Once we get the lead, you're done. You're not coming back. You're not coming back. So they were like, well, he doesn't have experience coming from behind the lead which is bullshit because we all saw it. 
but it's made to be down and when you're running a bunch of games per clip you're not going to have many opportunities to have to come back because you're in the league the object of football is win the game alright not going to be behind much when you, once you get the lead you run you take opportunities away from the other team they just want you to hear that because they want you to play this new brand of football I said mix it all in and run with that but Greg Roman that's 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 a, that's a simp move man that's a sucker move he said he's but he said he said six stuff in the past to that nation if you listen to Greg Roman, he says sick things all the time. He's about to ask. Him. That's why the, the players like Mink more. I mean, Wink more. I could tell Greg Roman could just rub anybody the wrong way, but that's Jim Harbaugh's homeboy, so John just can't get rid of him because that's his brother homeboy. Like, this this whole NFL thing is a buddy system. We should know that by now. You know what I'm saying? We should know that by now. It's a shame when your own got to put you behind the gun. Now he got another week of of media trying to bash him again. But Greg Roman is too much of a simpleton. I'm just tired, man. He got to go. If John, you hearing, you listening, Greg got to go, man. I mean, the gig is up. He ha he has to go. When. 99% of his plays, passive plays, have two or three receivers in the same spot. Okay, Greg.